We believe that measuring the progress of societies is a key issue for policy making and democratic governance in the 21st century. First of all, there is a clear demand and need to go beyond GDP as measure of success of our countries. And this is, uh, is very well known, and actually we have been talking about this for ages, but now I think uh, this demand uh, is even stronger. We urge statistical offices to work alongside the representatives of their community to produce high quality, facts-based information that can be used by all of society to form a shared view of societal well-being. So, we say that statisticians cannot work in isolation. They have to work with the representatives of their communities. And in fact, if we want to take this work forward, we say, first of all, each and every community should sit down and discuss what progress means. This is a bottom-up approach. It's not up to Paris or New York or Washington to tell exactly what progress means at national level. We have to engage communities to have a discussion, as Chris said, about what are the main views and goals. Of course, we have to recognize that there are differences. But the good news is that through our work, we are seeing also a lot of similarities that are emerging around the world. The key well, buzzwords, let's say, are quite similar, both in Asia and Africa, and both in developed and in developing countries. In fact, what we are observing is there are hundreds of initiatives all over the world trying to do the same. And before the Istanbul event, a lot of them didn't know about the others. So it seems that there is a virus somewhere that is trying to, is infecting the communities and the societies, try to answer the question, where are we going? So perhaps we are very close to a big revolution in statistics. We are very close to the development of a completely new paradigm, but we need to find a narrative to convince policymakers that this is the case. And this is where organizations like the OECD and your organizations can work together to develop such a narrative to show that it's possible to change paradigm and engaging citizens in this effort. We really hope uh, that in the preparation of the third world forum that will take place in South uh, Korea next year, next October, we can really link uh, the work of civil society to uh, this project. So there is also an increasing mistrust in national government. And the, in some cases, this brings also mistrust uh, in national statistical offices. According to the figures that uh, we collected uh, last year before the Istanbul Forum, 42-45% of Europeans don't trust official statistics. There is a growing number of agents in the society, NGOs, but I would also put bloggers, if you wish, who have an impact on the public opinion much more than uh, some prime ministers. And individu individuals are asked to make decisions that before were taken by the government. Think about pensions, school, and so on and so forth. So individual citizens are asked to make uh, decisions in fields. So in conclusion, we believe that uh, we are saying that we live in the information society and knowledge society but don't you feel that we are living in the confusion society? <laughs> and because we, have a, 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 we are bombarded every day by figures, and media bombard us with a lot of this information, but uh, who can we trust? Uh, how are things going? Uh, and a lot of people who are, have these same questions in mind simply give up. And this is not good for the world. If you ask the Europeans so what is the GDP growth rate in your country or what is the unemployment rate and so on, on average 30% of people try to guess. 70% say, I don't know. How to measure progress? Of course, we could uh, spend a lot of time on that. I'm not going to spend time just to give you a sense. Uh, you can extend the national accounts to social and environmental dimensions. You can take a lot of indicators and uh, put weights 
on that and then have a composite indicator. There are 160 <coughs> indicators like this produced around the world, 50 more than last year. I think that this trend will end uh, when the number will be 365 because at the point each of them will get uh, headlines for one day and that's it. <laughs> uh, in some cases, uh, some organizations are producing indicators just to advocate themselves, not the issue that they are supposed to. to. But anyway, together, thanks to technology, putting figures together is very easy and this unfortunately can contribute to this cacophony that we feel we are living in. Key indicators are sets of indicators that are chosen through a democratic consultation. Of course, there is a big question here, objective versus subjective indicators, and uh, you mentioned before uh, non-measurable uh, uh, issues or wisdom, although, as uh, Chris said, a lot of work is, is, is going on. We support the idea of uh, developing indicate, sets of indicators. In conclusion, uh, the uh, OECD launched this global project on measuring the progress of societies around three questions. What to measure, which is a political problem. How to measure is a statistical problem. And the third, ensure that measures are used. We are working with several international organizations, but also NGOs like Hofpan and many others. What uh, we expect uh, is to produce guidelines help communities and countries like Mo Morocco or Paraguay or uh, uh, Australia, I was in Australia last week, to start or to relaunch initiatives like State of USA. We are also trying to address uh, uh, measurement issues on how to measure elements that are not covered by international standards like vulnerability, trust and uh, governance and so on but also ensure that measures are used. Developing uh, new ICT tools or guidelines on how to bring statistics to citizens learning from experiences like State of USA. One big idea, crazy idea, I was so stupid to talk about this in Istanbul without buying the domain that somebody did it, is the idea of launching wiki progress, a Wikipedia for progress, where people cannot just talk or contribute texts, but can contribute data. Instead of having a top-down uh, database built only with data produced by a particular institution, the idea is to build a database where organizations can contribute data, of course, subject to a quality scrutiny, and then uh, this would be a global public good for everyone. Technologically speaking is very complicated, but we finally found a solution that perhaps will help. And uh, uh, this can really make a difference. Because this would federate not only the hundreds of initiatives around the world who are trying to develop these measures, but really engage people.